MIUI 11 is here and you know what that means, right? As I've done for every MIUI launch, right, since MIUI 6, here's what's new with MIUI 11, top 11 new MIUI 11 features if I might say so. Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 e Tech, and if you end up finding this video interesting, please consider turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get this video started. MIUI 11 has a ton of new features, some of which aren't available in India yet. So for today's video, I'm going to be focusing on all the new stuff that we found on the Indian stable release of MIUI 11, which we have right now, right here on our Redmi K20. So let's kick things off with number one, speed. MIUI 11 feels faster. Now with every new MIUI version, that's been one thing Xiaomi has focused on. Improved performance and you can feel that here on MIUI 11. Uh, the animations feel snappier. I don't know if this is placebo, but my K20, uh, it feels a tad more responsive. More than responsive, it feels more consistent, more smooth overall. Uh, no, not that it wasn't in the past, but right now it is just more consistent overall. Uh, I don't know how to exactly say it. You need to actually use it to feel it for yourself. Uh, but uh, it's just opening and closing apps. Every app, it's just more uniform and jumping back and forth the transitions the animations they feel smoother than ever now another thing miui has always been known for you now it's customization and miui 11 offers that too so where do i start well okay number two let's talk ambient display with miui 10 we had about 16 different options when it came to always on display functionality now miui offers a lot more options with miui 11 First, there is Signature where we can set any text we want for ambient display in any color of our choice nonetheless and of course alignment as well. Then there is Kaleidoscope which has these nice geometric patterns. Here we get to see the time and optionally the battery and notifications. Then there are choices for analog and digital clocks. These are similar to what we've seen with MIUI 10 but each one of these can be further customized be it by choosing the alignment or changing the text color. There's just a lot of options here. There are also a few preset images to choose from. Now guys, with brands going for full screen displays, the notification LED is dying out. So ambient display seems to be all the more important these days. And that seems to be why Xiaomi is giving it more importance here with MIUI 11. But of course, even with an AMOLED panel, always on is gonna drain battery. So there is an option to schedule when you want it to kick in. Now this was already on MIUI 10, but I'm just, you know, keeping you informed, letting you know. Now while on the topic of customization, let's move on to number three. And here we have video wallpapers with MIUI 11. Any video can now be set as a wallpaper. And that's for both the home screen and the lock screens. So here I'm choosing this cat video, but you can choose pretty much anything you want. Guys, I did notice that when you go 4K or a very high resolution video or a big video file uh, if it's too heavy it doesn't really work you end up with this kind of a black screen but with smaller videos you shouldn't face an issue and it's more of a novelty here that, than anything else because I'm sure this is gonna chew through battery and by the way there is an option to also have video wallpapers with sound damn that is gonna get annoying real fast right think about it somebody having a video wallpaper with sound anyway that brings us to number four now i'm not going to really count this as number four because i promise to keep this as features that are currently available with the indian release this one is not available yet but it is huge enough that i really want to mention it in this video miui has a new battery saving feature an ultra battery saver brands like samsung have had it for a long long time you know, when you're desperate and the phone restricts performance and conserves battery for the most basic functionality like calls and SMS. To stretch that battery as much as possible, the last few percentage stretch and drag it as long as possible. Now that's been added to the Chinese MIUI 11. It should eventually roll out globally as well. Over here, if you want, you can add a certain few apps as well if you uh, really need them. Now coming back uh, to that dying notification LED, another way MIUI 11 is trying to help cover for it is when a notification comes in and the phone is locked, the sides of the screen light up. This is kind of similar to Samsung's edge lighting without the edge part of course. 
Now, this is not going to replace the notification LED because the light is not going to stay lit on. Uh, but it is a start. I'm going to have to spend more time with the UI 11 to see how useful this ends up being. So this is feature number four, the actual feature number four. Number five, I'd say the overall change in system design. Coming back to the home screen, there are a lot of subtle visual changes here. The icons and other UI elements now have more rounded corners. Even the settings app and the stock dialer look different. I'm glad that Xiaomi is making these tiny design tweaks so that there is visual consistency across the whole interface. There's also a new font that looks more professional and a lot of font sizes to play around with since this is kind of adaptive. Number six, the file manager. Now it might not have a new look, but it's definitely got a major new function. And here, let's tap on docs. And here the brand new feature, all Word and PDF docs, they have a desktop type thumbnail. There's a preview there, right? But that's not it. Documents can be read and even edited right from the app itself, but that's not it either. Even Excel sheets are supported. So basically, we don't need to go around installing third-party apps like Google Docs or Sheets anymore. All this is built into the file manager. That's pretty sweet. That's huge. Xiaomi has partnered with WPS Office and this is a direct result of that partnership. So this is pretty nice to have. And now moving on to number seven, we have the new calculator app. This calculator app has a new design, but the changes are more than skin deep. Clicking on the top left, this pop out symbol causes the calculator to well pop out. The drop icon next to it lets us adjust transparency, all very reminiscent of LG's Q slide. Does anyone remember that? If you do, let me know in the comments below. Now returning back to full screen, there are two tabs to the top, life and finance. These give us certain new functions like loan EMI, splitting a bill between friends or even calculating GST. All practical use case scenarios, kind of nice to see this attention to detail from Xiaomi. Appreciate it, it's all pretty functional, not novelty factors here. I actually think people would find this useful in day-to-day -day scenarios. Now, while we are talking about apps and new functions, at number 8 we have the notes app. Tasks is now built into it. Taking a voice note or a voice task, it is pretty simple too. Just tap here. Tapping the task lets you set a reminder for clearing the task. It is as simple as tapping on it. We also have a floating taskbar. Swiping on it from any screen brings up the to-do list. We can enable this from settings within the notes app itself. These tasks are synced with me calendar too. Then there are dynamic sound effects. Now this is something we first found on MIUI 10, but with MIUI 11, dynamic ringtones are front and center. So what exactly are dynamic tones? Well, let's say I go into alarm and here choose weather alarm. Now the alarm tone will change depending on the weather. So if it's bright and sunny, we have a different tone and if it's raining, we have something different. Like that, we can also choose nature sounds for notifications and each time it's going to be something different. Number 10, quick replies. MIUI now comes with quick replies. It's hidden under settings and special features. And when it's active, any message from say WhatsApp or an instant messenger, it's gonna pop up on a separate tiny floating window on top of whatever app it is that you're using. This makes it really easy to quickly reply to said message without having to get out of the app that you're using. Useful, right? Now talking about useful, let's talk blur app previews. This is another feature that first made its appearance on MIUI 10 beta. But now with MIUI 11, it should be available on all phones. Opening up App Info for any app and scrolling down will reveal Blur app previews. This is a privacy related feature that blurs the app window on the multitasking screen, making sure no one can sneak a peek while you're scrolling through the multitasking screen. Finally, I've saved the best for last. At number 11, this is the big one, my favorite, the Mi Share option. This is kind of like Apple's AirDrop, except it isn't specific to just one brand. Here, Xiaomi devices are gonna be working with Oppo, Vivo, and Realme as well. At least they should technically. It isn't as of now, but it should once these devices start getting updates to support it. This is a standard all these brands are working together on supporting. It's quite a cool way to share files. It pops up on pretty much every app once we hit the share option, like a picture from the gallery once 
the menu appears, we can see that MeShare is looking for devices. So how cool is it? Xiaomi working with the likes of Realme, Oppo and Vivo. I mean, it just blows your mind, right? No, number 12, it is 11 top features, but hey, what is the list without a bonus, right? Uh, digital well-being, we have one here that is not really special to me UI. Rather, it's a stock Android 9 feature that wasn't available in, uh, with most MIUI 10 builds, including the one on our Redmi K20. To be fair, it is present on some of the newer builds of MIUI 10, like the ones on our Redmi Note 8. But with MIUI 11, digital well-being should be present on all Xiaomi and Redmi phones running Android 9 and above. It is a useful feature that allows monitoring daily phone usage. And that brings us to the end of this video. I know that many more features, including some from Android 10, would be added to MIUI 11 as it matures, and I will keep updating you guys on it as it happens. Follow me on Twitter at c 4 etech if you haven't yet. And I guess that's pretty much it here. I, I told you what my favorite feature was, me share. So what's yours? What is your favorite feature that MIUI 11 has brought with it? Let me know in the comments below. And I guess, that's pretty much it. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And has your phone received MIUI 11 yet? Uh, and has Xiaomi confirmed a MIUI 11 update for your phone? If yes, when are you supposed to be getting MIUI 11? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. Oh, yeah. Guys, uh, if there is any phone that's getting MIUI 11 that you want me to actually go back and do a second review of, let me know in the comments below something like say, uh, I don't know, a Redmi Note 8 Pro or something like that. Any phone that you want me to go back and do a second review of once it gets MIUI 11, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get that done. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.